Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Band Practice. I'm Emma. And I'm Madison. And today we're going to be doing kind of like a part two of our manifestation episode that we did a while back. Um, We're going to be talking about all of our August goals and manifestations and give you guys like tips and tricks, our process of how we do it. Um, Yeah, everything. Yeah, and we're really excited, um, especially because if you couldn't tell if you're watching this, we are in fact together together. in person. I'm visiting Madison right now um, with my friend Laura, and she's just, she's getting ready right now, but we're just having a fun girlies weekend. Yeah, we've been talking about it for months. Mm -hmm. You guys have heard about it, and now the day is finally here. I don't know. I just feel like it makes the energy better. It really does, (laughs) like talking in person or even having the uh, video. Hey, do you want to come say hi? Get on the mic. Get on the mic. Hello. Hi. <laughs> That's one of our band members, Laura. Um, a part-time band member. She yeah. admitted that she doesn't listen all the time, but it's you true. know, that's fine. I appreciate honesty in friendships, so it's okay. That's true. That's true. As she was walking away, she said, Ben doesn't listen either. <laughs> it's true. He doesn't. But yeah, life update. We're just hanging out. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a big one. I got a puppy. He is in his crate right now because we're trying to have positive experiences with the crate. So I put him in there while we were filming and gave him little treats and toys. Um, (laughs) He's putting his whole face through the wire things right now, though. But I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see him. And there's tons of videos and stuff Mm -hmm. of him on my Instagram. And I'm going to post him on TikTok as well. So you can go there if you want to see my new little baby. He's the cutest little boy you probably will ever see. So yes, he's a mini uh, red long haired dachshund. He's nine weeks old, so he's very small. We're working on potty training. Mm-hmm. We're working on not pooping just on everyone's yep. bed everywhere. <laughs> um, and that's not going great so far. But you know, he's little and he's trying his yeah, best. It's only day three, so it's only day three out here. So he's doing everything that he can yeah he knows yeah and he doesn't know much yet he doesn't know that much at all no. really yeah but he's so cute he's gonna learn yeah he's like staring at him i um, know I, the whole time <laughs> if we're looking over here it's because we're looking at him he's being adorable um other life updates gosh i really don't um emma's moving to denver just right. like stuff like that i totally would if like the cards were right mm-hmm. and maybe they will be sometime down the road and but... you know what that's what we're making today's episode about about manifesting so yeah um the cards are right if you feel like they're right uh uh-huh. yeah she's right um okay he started crying a little bit so his auntie Lara came to mm-hmm. take him away and hang out with him um should we talk a little bit about like what we've been doing so far yeah in Denver yeah um you can also see on our YouTube channel soon we're vlogging the whole thing but Lara was actually here for a family reunion, so she was with her family over the weekend, but Emma came on Saturday, mm-hmm. so we had, you know, just some some solo time yeah. together. What did we do the first day? Um, a lot of shopping. Shopping. Um, so, ooh. yeah, well, when we first got here, we went to breakfast, mm-hmm. and a really funny thing happened. Do you want to tell them? What happened? Oh, my mom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went to go get breakfast at this like it's my favorite place it's right by my house but my mom doesn't I've never told her about it I don't think and I immediately took Emma there like I picked her up from the airport in the morning and we went to go have breakfast and we were waiting in line and then we went up to order and this lady was like staring at me the whole time we were in line and I was kind of looking at her it was like a lady that worked there and I was like do I know her like have I met her before I'm so confused I was just getting that vibe and then when we went up to order she goes are you Madison and I'm like yes she goes your mom called and I was like how do you know my mom and she's like she wants to pay for your meal she tracked your location and she saw you guys were here and she's paying for you <laughs> so funny. We were like, okay that's like the craziest way to do the nicest thing ever yeah but it was really sweet it was very very nice a good surprise thanks mom if you're yeah, listening thanks, Steph. and then we went uh vintage shopping and then went to like the normal mall mm-hmm. and you know we spent a little bit of money yeah, it's okay a couple things. Yeah. um and then what did we do we went and got some good french fries oh and then mm-hmm. she took me to the arcade yes the infamous arcade mm-hmm. how was it it was really fun it was just really crowded that night mm-hmm. but they like madison and ben are both so good like they set the high scores on the machine every time and then like if people were like oh like like we're waiting in line to like play the basketball people like oh like are you guys good and they're like oh we're 
okay? And it's like, okay, you were just so literally humble. doubling everyone's score. <laughs> but it was really fun to watch. Thanks, thanks. We'll have to bring Laura. Yes. One of these nights. I know. Yeah. Um, and then we went and picked up the puppy the next day. We were planning on getting a puppy for like a couple of months now. We've been looking and oh I think I said on the podcast how we got scammed a couple weeks right. ago so that was like devastating and we were still looking trying to be positive but long-haired mini dachshunds are a hot commodity like every time they get posted I would message them and be like when can I come see this puppy and they're like oh he got picked up this morning mm-hmm. like they are just selling like hot cakes baby so this one was posted and we saw him and we were obsessed and so we were like we have to go see him and we immediately just drove to go get him. And as soon as I saw him, I was like, hand over the money. Like, this right. is my dog. So, yeah, we went and got him. And then we just went on a little puppy target run mm-hmm. and bonded with him the first night. And then I had to work. You had to work I had the to next work day. Yesterday, yeah. So I had to go nanny. And you were home with the puppy yeah. babysitting. Yeah, it was really fun. He's a really sweet good boy. He is really sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And today we're going to maybe go shopping again with Laura. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go see Barbie. Important, important update. Yes. And then tomorrow we have the Noah Khan concert. It's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And then we have one more day and then you guys go bye-bye. No. They leave me. No. I don't stay. Think... I'll stay. <laughs> then do it. Okay. Okay. Fine. Extend your, extend your stay at least. Okay. Stay through the weekend. We but don't yeah. work. Why are you going home? I know. It's the weekend. That is so silly of me. So silly. Um, What you drinking? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. Mm-hmm. I walked to get the girlies coffee this morning. Emma didn't want a coffee because she had a tummy ache. Yeah. But I have just a classic iced vanilla oat milk latte from my favorite coffee shop, Blue mm-hmm. Sparrow in Denver. Um, Delicious. Never misses. Yeah. Always hits. That's and good. we also had some croissants this Whistle. morning what are you drinking um i am drinking a doc pop poppy um nothing like a good prebiotic soda mm-hmm. to you know fix the tummy issues yeah, just yeah. kind of prime it for the day and this is like my favorite flavor of poppy so very happy about this love that if your tummy still hurts i also have some um plugging my favorite supplement company hilma uh tummy rescue repair mm. little packets And I've actually drank them when I had, like, an upset tummy before, and it really does, like, simmer things down a little bit. I love that. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know. But that's all, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to just hop right in. Let's do it. Okay. So today we're talking more in depth about our manifestation process. Um, We do have a kind of overview, like, our general feelings um, and, I don't know, just experiences with manifestation. Um. That we've already done. I think it's called Manifestation 101. 101. Mm -hmm. So this one, we're going to go kind of more in depth and then also give like specific examples of things that we want to manifest in the month of August. Kind of first, I think big step obviously is to figure out what is your goal or like the desire that you want to attract and manifest. Mm -hmm. And a big thing I've learned is to just like aim higher. Mm -hmm. Like it, I want to feel a little bit nervous about it and like maybe doubt a little bit Mm -hmm. because then I know like okay I can really get I like can really see what the universe can bring in store for me Mm -hmm. yeah almost like testing the universe being like this is what I want let's see even if it seems like a little bit out of reach I'd say yeah aim high be a little bit delusional and set goals in like areas of your life that don't even necessarily feel attainable right now Mm -hmm. because you literally never know what could happen in like a couple weeks or months or whatever like say you're not really doing that good on money right now set a goal surrounding money even though it feels like you're just like barely making it by and you don't have any excess try to like step into the abundance or whatever as silly as it sounds when like you're really down bad but set goals around money and like an example would be like say you're working really hard you're working all the time you don't really have a lot of excess money but you really want to travel or you want like you know freedom in that way try to manifest that because you never know when like a new opportunity could present itself like a new job that could allow you to travel like a remote position Mm -hmm. or a higher paying job where you have like more paid time off like literally I know it feels like it could never happen when you're in 
that place, right. but literally anything in your life could change. So I'd say like, yeah, set goals in all different areas, even if it feels like it's not possible or in the cards for you right now. It's important to kind of be a little delusional because I think what people get stuck on is they only focus on like what they can control. And they think like with what I'm dealt right now and what I have, like there's no way I can meet this goal. But the Mm -hmm. thing is, is like you don't have to know how you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. And when you put trust in the universe, I I think of her as a she, but like she really can come through and like the most random thing could just happen that like you didn't even think about. So Mm -hmm. like just don't, don't set limitations. Yeah. It'll, it'll figure itself out. Mm-hmm. And it's always like the craziest opportunities that you don't even think, like it wasn't even something you were working towards mm-hmm. or like even on your mind or had thought of. Like I remember at the beginning of the year, we had just moved here and so I didn't have a job and I was trying to manifest money or like new opportunities. And I quickly got like three sources of income that like some of them I hadn't even thought of or like knew were even an option. And so it just like, all these people were like, oh, do you want to do this? Oh, do you want to do this? Yeah. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. And yeah, I like just never saw it coming. Exactly. So it's not something that like you can always plan for, but it will happen anyways. Mm-hmm. I'm a firm believer that like if you try to emanate this like open, positive and just like, I don't know, free energy that it just like makes it easier for you to attract Mm -hmm. new opportunities yeah or even like always being willing to help people Mm -hmm. or like be the person that people go to for things because then once they hear of an opportunity or they need help with something and they could possibly like pay you or they heard of a friend of a friend needs to hire somebody for whatever Mm -hmm. they're gonna come to you because they're like oh you know emma never lets me down yeah like that's my girl i'm gonna go to her first true Um, I guess we'll go through like a little bit more of our process. So something that we both do is once we create our goal, we create like uh, corresponding affirming statements. So like, for example, if we're trying to attract, what are we trying to attract? New friends. Yeah. Let's say that. So you would create statements that you either say out loud or you could write them down. You could write them somewhere and like pin them up around your house in places that you are going to see every day but say it was like for attracting new friendships you could say like I am a kind and loving friend Mm -hmm. you could say you're feeling like you're shy or introverted you could write like I'm extroverted Mm -hmm. I have energy to give others just whatever like statement you would tell yourself to make you believe that the goal is going to happen you could just write those down and like we said say them often write them often see them often Mm -hmm. set it as your lock screen anything you can do to just like kind of drill them into your brain so that it almost becomes like um, automatic. Like it's just playing in your head even when you're not even like thinking of it. A fun way to think about it is like, I don't know, like a raffle. Like every time I say the statement or I see it, like I'm getting a ticket. And baby, if you get 50 tickets, like you got a good shot. You're gonna, you're gonna have a good shot of winning the raffle. So I love you're just that. like giving yourself like better chances and just like really ingraining it into your subconscious. So you might even start to like do things to work towards that goal, and like you're not even realizing. You're not it. even thinking of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, what a cute little metaphor. I just made it up. Wow, I, I was gonna say, did you see that on TikTok or something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. I'd say like a lot of these way. techniques and stuff. It's just like more than anything, giving yourself a fighting chance or like mm-hmm. a, a little running head start. Like, why not do everything you can to make yourself feel better and believe in your goals? Even if like it feels silly, it's literally just giving yourself like the best chance possible. Right. Like like we said, you're entering yourself in the raffle mm-hmm. every time. Give yourself a chance. Yeah. Take a little risk. Who knows? Who knows what you don't happen. have to know. It's really none of your business. No, it's none of your business. Our next kind of step in the process is what we think of as like playing to the senses. So we're big like visual people. So visualization is really key for us to kind of like I don't know, feel inspired and motivated by our desires and our goals. So this could be um, something we like to do are like, I swear I did this last time. Our busies. Our busies. (laughs) Uh, Visualization meditations. We find like guided um, meditations on YouTube Mm -hmm. where you literally just like close your eyes and like listen to what the person is saying. And they kind of like walk you through different ways to like feel like you're in your new self, like you're in the future, have already have what you are desiring mm-hmm. and you, you can just see yourself. And that just kind of helps like, I don't know, put more feeling to it. 
Um, another thing, of course, is like vision boards mm-hmm. or Pinterest boards, um, which we love. And you could even make some of that like your lock screen. So you're constantly seeing visual reminders of what you're working towards. And I don't know. I think it's just kind of different for everyone. I know. I think you do too. I feel like my most dreamlike and like motivated right before bed. Mm-hmm. I love to just like sit and just like daydream about <laughs> the things that I want. So yeah. Yeah. I think it's about like, uh, what's the word? Why do I want to say harvesting? <laughs> like uh, uh harnessing harnessing not harvesting no we're not harvesting <laughs> i think it's about harnessing the feeling more than anything so whether you're like a visual learner mm. or visual person or like an auditory person or some people even like if they have a day off they'll literally go through their day as if they're living their dream life so right. like more of like a a method acting if you will yeah, I love that. um so whatever works the best for you to like feel it like we said we're visual people I love a little visualization meditation in the bath Mm -hmm. before bedtime I just feel like that always hits different for me no but I think like the whole point of visualization is to attach feeling to something because I feel like when you sit and think about like okay for example say you're like I want to like find a second source of income to feel like more financially secure if you sit there and think about like how does that feel in that moment to like Mm -hmm. finally reach that and to like have this sense of security Mm -hmm. and like stableness in your life like that just kind of I don't know enhances Mm -hmm. um your goal and like the energy like the universe is like oh you really want this yeah I'm gonna come through yeah I feel like once you can let your guard down and like really fully go into it and Mm -hmm. not like have doubts or like be like oh this is silly like once you really let yourself just feel it like it will literally bring me to tears like yeah it's just the most powerful thing and I also feel like a feeling that you should focus on is feeling like you deserve it whatever you have I feel like a lot of people feel like they don't deserve it or they would feel guilty if they had it or they have like certain limiting beliefs like say around money they really want to have more money but then they talk about other people who have money in a negative way or like Mm. say that money is like the root of all evil and like have all these things in the back of their mind even though deep down that's what they want right so I feel like focusing on little boundaries like that that you have set up or like things that are getting in your way it's not coming from a a place of like gratitude or feeling like you deserve it so that's something to be mindful of and try to try to knock down those boundaries it's great thank you good stuff thanks our next one is creating action steps for the goals this is our virgo selves stepping in because it's all fun and games to sit down and and wish and want and manifest Mm -hmm. but you also have to like actually put the work in and like for certain things sometimes things will just work out but other things you really do have to like you know learn or put effort in or reach out to people or whatever it may be there's like actual things you have to do in the real reality um so we like to do like little action steps bring him to mama oh little guy okay um indy was given his auntie some trouble in the bathroom so he's coming to join the girlies to pod Um, pod. say something say something say so this would be a good time to switch over to youtube if you want to see the doggy um and yeah he's just gonna chill right here don't mind him Like I was saying, you can break it down into like things you want to do by the end of the month, by the end of the year, things you're going to do on a weekly basis or daily basis to get closer to your goals. Um, I think it's about like finding a balance of being delusional and also being structured and like having a game plan for how you're going to make these things happen. Because I feel like sometimes the universe will just make things happen, but also you have to show her that you're serious about this. Yeah. You mean business and you have to respect yourself enough to like put the effort in for yourself and then the universe will just fill in the gaps and pick up your slack along the way. Right. So yeah, it's it's a partnership between you and her. Uh, another quick little like metaphor. Uh-huh. Oh, I, let's, I hear, it. let's another. hear it. Think of it with like that science what is it like physics saying like an object in motion stays in motion Mm -hmm. like you just got to create the momentum momentum for the universe to kind of like I don't know carry it on like Mm -hmm. 
keep it going. You get the ball rolling, and she'll she'll take care of the rest. She's like, we'll oh, keep rolling. We're going in sport mode. Like, we're let's going, go. Baby. We're going to next game <laughs> mode. In yeah. fact, and then kind of like the last bit of our process we wanted to talk about is some like more fun techniques if you're into the more witchy stuff, which. We use switch like very loosely. Yeah. I think people just kind of label this stuff to be witchy, but it doesn't have to be. We dabble in some some things. <laughs> like we love to do things in line with the full moon because mm-hmm. we believe that um, on like new moons and full moons, uh, there's just like a lot of energy that you can harness from the universe mm-hmm. and use it to kind of like, I'm trying to think of like a fun word, like just like. You know, in like Mario Kart, when you hit one of those things and then it goes super fast, mm-hmm. it's like that. Yeah, expedite, expedite it. I love that. It's expedited shipping yeah. for your order. So, um, something silly and fun we've done, which I think we've said before, is make moon water. And you can look up like there's many different instructions and ways that you can do it. But what we have done is um, write out our um, affirming statement on a piece of paper, and then um, fill a cup with water. Um, set it outside on the night of a full moon where it's like in the vision of the moon mm-hmm. in and the moonlight put, yes in the moonlight and put the little piece of paper under the water and then the moon will charge it up and send all of its energy into your statement and then in the morning you can do whatever you want with the water you can drink it you can bathe in it shower in it water your, water plants, your plants and it's just good feed stuff. it to your dog and it's also just kind of fun yeah it's fun and some other things we do, like Emma does tarot and stuff. She had a little crystal phase. It's all about just, you know, seeing what sticks, finding what makes you feel good. Because at the end of the day, like, who cares if the moon is really charging the water, if it makes you feel good and inspired when you do that ritual for yourself. Like, mm-hmm. that's really what what matters. You could also, like, cleanse your space with Palo Santo, sage, do, like, a little ritual with mm-hmm. that. When you're, like, setting goals, you can cleanse out yeah, the old energy. Kind of create a new beginning mm-hmm. for yourself. Yeah, just finding, like, what works and what you like and what you have fun with and what helps you at the end of the day. Yeah, I had a fun little thing I wanted to share. Um, I don't know if I, this was, like, a few years ago. I don't know if I heard it somewhere, like, a TikTok or what, but Um, so my, my son is Virgo, but my moon and rising are both Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. And I decided to like incorporate fire into my like manifesting ritual. So I like would say my, um, I like lit a candle and had some of my crystals out and I like was reading, um, my statement on a piece of paper. And after I kind of like did my visualization with it and everything, I like burned the paper in the candle and just kind of like, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool to like bring in if you're into astrology, like your chart placements into it. So like say you're a water sign, like maybe bathing Mm -hmm. is a good thing for you or fire, having like the candles or safely burning something, Um, (laughs) earth, you could bury it, Mm -hmm. Um, stuff like that. I don't know. I think it'd be cool if that's something that you're into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things that just take it to the next level and make yeah. it feel personal to you. Yeah, extra. And yeah, yeah, why not? Last thing, I just remembered this. I don't know what podcast I heard this on, but um, it was somebody talking about manifesting and they were talking about kind of their technique and what they do. And they said they view it like placing an order at a restaurant or like placing an order at a coffee shop. You basically just set the intention like say what you want and then you don't always have to check up on it you don't have to go up to the waiter when is when is my food coming when is my food coming where is it where is it you can just believe that it is on its way eventually and like maybe they're running a little late maybe they're busy that day but it's gonna get to you eventually and yeah you just like I just thought that was a cute little little way to think of it like you just place your order and then trust that it's going to come one way or another yeah they're gonna whip it up in the kitchen and it's on its way like chef is on it yeah chef don't worry about it yeah (laughs) behind (laughs) <laughs> so now we are going to get into the details of our personal August goals and mm-hmm. things that we want to focus on and manifest um, just to give you some inspiration. And then also I wanted to shout out our Geneva group chat. Yes, Geneva yes. is a really cool app where you can just like create group chats with people from all over. And we made one for band practice and we have a specific chat room for like goals and ma- manifesting. Mm-hmm. So 
once this episode is out let's let's get to chatting there and like i want to hear what everyone else's goals are for august Mm -hmm. yeah and even for the really like big delusional goals sometimes it's fun to tell other people because it's almost like accountability and you're like showing that you really believe in yourself enough to like tell another person yeah so be delusional in there say you're like i don't know say you're gonna be a millionaire next month i don't care say something (laughs) <laughs> and we'll be there for you. And we'll be there for you. So our first category that we have and that like we both want to focus on is finances. Obviously, I feel like every person in their 20s is probably focused right. on that. Yeah. Um, my personal goal is to obtain an un- unexpected thousand dollars in the month of August. Mm-hmm. So not coming from like my actual job or like, well, it's really the only place I get money these days. <laughs> but like, you know, I want it to just like come out of nowhere. And it doesn't all have to be at once. Mm-hmm. It can be, you know, just combined. But I don't know, the idea of a thousand, like when we were making this, I was like, wait, should I do 500 instead? Mm-hmm. And she was like, nope, you already no, said it. You already said it. So a I'm, I'm aiming big and can't wait to have it. It's going to be a so good to have a little extra in my savings after I just spent a lot on a car. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be perfect. And Like we said in our last episode, it can come from anywhere, like Mm -hmm. unexpected checks in the mail. Like you could literally get a check in the mail. It happened. It's happened (laughs) to both both of us. us. Yeah. Um, Or somebody could reach out for like, you know, hiring you for something. You're a creative person. You could have many different sources of income. So you never know, but it's coming this month. So I'm excited for you. I'm excited. Yeah. (laughs) Also, August is my birthday month and it's the start of Virgo season. So we're really feeling it. Like Mm -hmm. we're just... It's our time. It is. I can't wait. My finance goal for the month of August is to have my most... (laughs) Most... Not the (laughs) lisp. (laughs) To have the most profitable content month so far. Um, I started making money from content in January, so the beginning of this year. And it's kind of steadily been going up since then with like, you know, little dips here and there. But... We're on we're on the up and up, but I want to have like by far mm-hmm. the most profitable profitable month yet. Yeah, we want to see like a, a high graph. Yeah, like if you were looking at the graph, you'd be like, "What happened here?" Yeah, you'd be like, "Whoa, something big." Why did it spike? Exactly. Yeah, that's my August. So that'll Very be fun. Good. Can't wait. Yeah. And then we wanted to kind of attach like how we think this is going to feel. So for both of us, this is just going to bring like relief from financial stress. And we're going to step into our abundance mindset Mm -hmm. and just like really create like a limitless perspective on money for ourselves, which is really hard to do, especially Mm -hmm. when you're like literally in your mid 20s it's like uh, okay but you're like there most definitely is a limit to my <laughs> yeah, bank account sure is. um but, but not for long not for august so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think uh a big one that we can probably all relate to is like feeling financial freedom or or longing mm-hmm. for that so i think it's good to set goals around money yeah. and not be scared of talking about money and even like with your friends it's not taboo like no. we're all in our 20s and we can talk about like our salaries or whatever yeah. or how much we spent on something mm-hmm. like i think you or laura asked like how much is rent because they yeah. were talking about like moving here in theory mm-hmm. so they're like well how much is rent around here and i just told them i'm like yeah i don't care yeah yeah exactly you could ask my leasing office it's good to know. yeah it's good to know i'm always curious mm-hmm. especially with like salary transparency and stuff if you have right. friends in a similar business or even like my friends that are content creators i'm like oh well how much did that brand pay you because like this is what they're offering me right. and then you can know if they're lowballing you or not like it's just it's good to be in the know and share that knowledge with other people because right. it can be really helpful off of that i think with everyone but I think even especially women like I think it's even been studied that we just ask for less than men will usually Mm -hmm. ask for Mm -hmm. in jobs and like negotiating things so it is just really helpful to know what other people make especially because we're so early in our careers like I just actually don't know what's don't know what's normal yeah or like what would be like high reach because in my mind I'm like oh I'm asking for so much and then like my employer is probably like oh yay we got we got a deal on this girl Uh (laughs) like oh we can take advantage of her like she doesn't know so yeah it's just important to kind of feel free to communicate with each other Mm mm-hmm Um, our next category is sense of self or kind of like our perception of ourself or confidence, Mm -hmm. things like that. Um, so my goal, I recently started working, like going out to workout classes because I've just been kind of working out in solitude in my apartment at my apartment gym, but I started going to classes again and that's been making me feel really good. So I want to place like a lot of value on my wellness and I want to kind of try to shift my perspective from like 
it being a chore or even an accomplishment to go to a workout class. I just want to wake up and like, that's what I do. Like, it's not like, of course, it's nice to feel good about yourself after you do stuff and whatever. I'm not saying don't feel good about yourself, but it shouldn't even be like, uh, like a big deal to go Mm -hmm. to a class. It's just how I take care of myself because it makes me feel good. Um, so I think shifting the perspective from like, oh, I have to go to Pilates tomorrow because blah, 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 being like, yeah, I mean, that's just a part of my routine. That's, I get yeah. up and I do that. That's what I do in the morning. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I think that's like the most sustainable way to think about it. It mm-hmm. just becomes like ingrained in your routine and who you are. Yeah, exactly. Um, my sense of self kind of focus for the month is I want to like completely transform my mindset around my body. Like, I've just been kind of struggling with my body image for a while now, but I'm not even, like, I was kind of focused on, like, what can I do with, like, my diet or, like, working out to, like, change certain things about my body. Because I also think I'm just, I know I'm very critical of myself and there's, like, actually nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, I don't need to change anything. Um, And I'm, like, still glad that I've, like, kind of built healthier habits around food and exercise because I just didn't have that foundation before. But now I actually want it to just be strictly about like the mindset. Like I don't even care if anything changes actually in my body, but I want everything to change mentally. Mm -hmm. And I just want to believe that like, as I am now, sexy, hot, beautiful, stunning, perfect, amazing, show stopping. Yeah. Yeah. People are salivating looking at me. Yeah, they're drooling. Literally their jaws drooling. are on the floor. There's puddles of drool everywhere I go. You walk and past and they pee their pants. <laughs> literally, they do. I'm like, he I've does. seen it. He does. Yep, the little boy does. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like really excited about that. And it starts now. It starts today. So if you're watching on YouTube, comment below that I'm hot. <laughs> um, no, but I, I think it'll just take a lot of just like kind of rewiring my self-talk in my brain, like redirecting myself. When I look in the mirror, picking out things that I love and just like, it's just going to be from negative to positive. It's, you know, we'll Mm -hmm. see. And that sounds like such a big thing, like to shift, right? you know? But I think it's also, if you look at it from the other way, like we trick ourselves into thinking that we look different like on a weekly basis like think of yourself the week before your period and then the week of your period suddenly I like feel like I'm a fugly troll like terrible awful but nothing changed I convinced myself Mm -hmm. of that just like overnight so we can switch it the other way and convince ourselves that we are just absolutely perfect show-stopping stunning amazing beautiful perfect award-winning award-winning gorgeousness and oh I was gonna say I feel like also like the number one thing that makes people attractive is confidence yeah you can tell when someone's confident Mm -hmm. and I just feel like I haven't had that energy in a while and so I'm channeling it yeah it's just about how you carry yourself Mm -hmm. like I feel like when you're in public or something and a girl walks in the room like it doesn't matter if she's like if you broke it down like yeah scientifically is she the most beautiful person in the room like if you took her facial measurements and like right does she make the golden rule I don't know does she does she not it doesn't really matter because how she walked in Mm -hmm. and how she carried herself the energy that she brought like completely shifted the whole energy in the room like there's just those people that they walk the walk and they talk the talk and yeah that's how I'm trying to be too giving bad bitch bad bitch and they know it and that's how it feels yes is girl boss that's the feeling we're channeling is just girl boss yes. energy i'm excited to see barbie after this because yes. i feel like this is just it's the perfect time that's gonna help yeah so yeah the feeling that we're both working towards is just feeling of course hot feeling just like a beautiful girl mm-hmm. and feeling like we can't be stopped like nobody else's opinion of us really matters mm-hmm. it's just it's just us and how we feel about, about ourselves. Me. Yeah. It's all about us at the end of the day. And that's fine. And it should be good. all about you too. It's all about everyone in yeah. our own. Your world should be house. about you personally, I think. Yeah. Same. We should all feel like the world revolves. Mm, well, maybe that's getting toxic, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, our last category is kind of like social and emotional goals. So for me, um, my birthday is September 8th. Don't forget it. Mark your um, calendars. Virgo season is upon us. And I don't know. I just feel like... Um, hard launch. <laughs> yeah, hard launch for those of you that don't know. Um, no. So my mom passed when I was in middle school. And I feel like 
after that I just like never had good birthdays like I just like my dad would try and stuff bless his heart but like it was just like when you don't have like a woman around yeah it's like how do I come up with like the girly girl birthday party right so I want to plan a birthday party for myself this year that like makes me feel special and is just like everything I want so I just want to do like a big bestie slumber party yeah and that's so good that's my goal that'll be like healing yeah be a really child yes a really wonderful day and my camera's dying after that okay. so I can't wait to go to your birthday party I know, we Kimmy. really need to let's let's start planning yeah, yeah we need to get to work today yes okay my goal for social emotional health is I want to continue to put myself in positions that I could possibly develop new friendships mm-hmm. um like reaching out to people on social media that's even like putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation right um because it's not easy to be like hi we should hang out um so yeah keep doing stuff like that and making new friends but I also really want to focus on putting effort into the friendships that I do have because Mm -hmm. especially like my long distance friendships um I mean I talk to Emma every single day but other people that are like still back home I feel like we aren't as close as we were once I when I lived in Arizona obviously Mm -hmm. um And so I want to like, you know, even call people, FaceTime people. I hate doing that, but I know it means a lot to other people. Yeah. So like just doing like that to doing stuff like that to really, um, I don't know, show my friends that I love them and I value them. That's so sweet. Yeah. You're really good at it. I feel loved and valued. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. (laughs) Um, The feelings we're channeling. Personally, I just, like I said, want to make myself feel special and like put energy into celebrating myself. Mm Mm-hmm love that um yeah I mean mine's kind of the same another goal that I have is I want to get back to meditating on a regular basis Mm -hmm. for like my emotional health because I feel like that's like one habit that for some reason I don't consistently do even though it makes the biggest difference ever and it's easy enough like it's five ten minutes a day um if you're already in the bath yeah might as well (laughs) meditate literally every single day because it just truly makes me a better happier nicer person so that's my other emotional goal i love it yeah well that was those were our goals oh my gosh we were so vulnerable we were. i hope this was like helpful for some of you if you just kind of like needed that extra push to like get back on track and like focused on yourself and the things that you want to attract in your life yes um we hope you guys enjoy let us know your goals dm right. us on instagram join our geneva tell all the girlies um we love talking to you guys and and making new friends you guys are the best and we really appreciate you and love you i miss chatting with you every week i know i look forward to it every week yeah um but yeah you can find us on tiktok instagram uh geneva pinterest threads youtube threads you can find us anywhere become our besties And leave us a rating and review if you're feeling extra special. And so, um, sorry, the camera just cut out if you're on YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> if you want to follow us, the links are in our show notes. Leave a rating and review, and we'll chat to you next time. Yeah, we love you guys. Love you. Bye.